Hello. Naughty Vlog is back in town. Dee, 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 dee. Welcome to Nanny Vlog on a Tuesday. And uh, I must tell you, I've just done a little pre-recording prior to this, uh, just to try something. Because today a friend of mine said, why don't you turn it the screen round and then you get a, like a panorama shot or a panoramic panorama, whichever it is. Um, we didn't go as far as to discuss that, but anyway, what's actually correct, whether it's panorama or panoramic. But anyway, so I just tried it and uh, it it didn't, it was very off-putting because the if I look at you, I have to look up there, you see, I'm, I'm looking right in the camera now. But if I turn it on its side, then you go, or oh, that goes to the side. See, like that. So... Because I'm not very good with anything IT related, I'm just going to carry on normal. So when you view it, you'll still have those black sides. Anyway, no black sides, not backsides. I've still got a backside. It always has to be about body parts. We've spoken about the nose, the brain, uh, backside I've just mentioned, which should have been black sides. Um, and it got me thinking, well, you know, it's not like an anatomy lesson, is it? You know, we all know what we've got or haven't got as the case may be so I thought well what can I do that's different and it just got me thinking about what makes people laugh and usually it's the, it's the silly things you know that that make you giggle like when you're a child and it's the the innocent things that make me laugh anyway I mean I laugh at you know I can give a hearty laugh to something really uh out of this world and, and wonderful and awesome but it's like that it's the silly little things that make me laugh and humor is quite uh, it's quite individual and not everybody laughs at the same thing but everybody has had that childhood with a with a giggly type of occurrence in it so you know you're in the playground with your school friends and you're all giggling in little groups about whatever you're giggling about and then as we get older we seem to leave all that giggly stuff behind because we have to be mature adults and uh, you know handle the world in such a way and I've never done that I've always been uh well I've tried to keep that humor I've not tried to keep it it's just never left me so I'm glad it's never left me um because I'm now going to try and attempt to tell a joke. I used to tell quite a, a lot of jokes a long time ago and I was uh, always picking up new jokes and telling them and picking up other new jokes and telling them. As I have uh, gone through and got steadily to this stage in my life, uh, I find that I don't remember the punchline. So I'm going to try this one and hopefully I can mention, uh, remember the punchline. Um, and it's, it's just a quick one and I'll try not to do any accents because apart from being not very good, sometimes they don't sound like the accent they're supposed to sound like. I don't know how politically correct it is for me to do this. Um, should I do a question? Should I do an accent? I'm asking myself now. Uh, oh, just do the accent. Okay. And if they don't get it, they don't get it. And if you get reported, you get reported. And if you end up in jail again, well, that's it. Um, anyway, so three guys went for the same job and these three guys were from different parts of the UK. I bet you can't guess, can you, where they might be from? One was from England, one was from further north, another country up there called Scotland, and the other one was from Ireland, obviously Northern Ireland, because that does the South, south doesn't belong to us. But anyway, you see, I never used to tell jokes like this. Anyway, the job that they went for was uh, working in a forest. And the advert had, had read, you know, uh, experienced pers person required to work in my forest. So anyway, first of all, uh, the Englishman went in and uh, he sat in front of the interviewer and he said, hello, I've come from uh, the job as a, um, he was from Yorkshire, obviously. Uh, he said, I've come for uh, the job as a, as a forester. And, uh, and the, uh, the guy who actually owned the forest said, OK, well, tell me about your experience then. He said, well, uh, he said, my, uh, my father was, uh, was a woodcutter uh, and uh, I know all about uh, trees uh, and very fond of nature, um, grew up in the countryside and, um, you know, I'm sure that I could do 
the type of job that you're that you're wanting to be undertaken and so the interviewer said okay well I've got some other people to interview but I will come back to you and off he went anyway the next person that walked in he was from further north than England and he was a Scottish person and he was funnily enough wearing the same gear as the English person anyway <laughs> Uh, so he said, he said, now, and tell me about your experience. And he said, well, okay. He said, I was brought up. Oh, I can't do that. Anyway, I was brought up on, uh, in a forest, actually. He said, and my generations before me, you know, they've all been uh, foresters. He said, so uh, from a child growing up, he said, that's all I know. That's all I know. Wood, timber, trees, nature, that's me. And I'm sure I could do the job for you in a broad Scottish accent which I love the Scottish accent. I like uh, Aberdeen, that's supposed to be perfect as an accent. Anyway, um, that isn't part of the joke, that's just me drifting brain again. Anyway, the final person to go in for this uh, interview was, um, was from across the water, and he was from the north of the island, uh, called Ireland, and, uh, and he sat himself down and the interviewer said, well, come on then, tell me all about you. He said, well, he said, I'll tell you something. He said, there's nobody else can do the job like me. He said, all my life I've been in forests. He said, I've been up them trees, down them trees, chopping them trees. He says, I can tell you all the names of all the trees that are in the forest. He said, I can tell you whether they're evergreens, deciduous, tall, oak, elms, ash, birch, silver birch, copper beech. I can tell you it all. He said, in fact, he said, I can tell you right now, if you come out into the forest with me, I'll tell you something. Come with me. And they both stood up and they went out of the office and into the forest. And as they're walking through, this Irishman is going on about this knowledge that he's got. And then he stopped and he said to the interviewer, he said, he said, and you see that tree over there? He said, yes. He said, well, that's the front of that tree. And that guy said, the front of the tree. He said, aye. He said, well, how do you know that? He said, because there's a fella round the back having a pee. <laughs> I'm going on that so you can either laugh or think, good grief, Yvette, come on, sorry, nanny vlog. Do something a bit better tomorrow. Bye for now. Mwah. See you soon. Bye.